my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full day of eating for you guys in today's video. I'm super excited because I absolutely love watching these kinds of videos. They just really give me like inspiration on different meals to make and if I've been like eating the same thing every single day sometimes I like to switch it up and get inspiration from other people's videos like this. Please give it a thumbs up if you also enjoy watching these types of videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And yeah, so pretty much these foods are just like really, really healthy and I try to incorporate them at least once a week or switch it up, but yeah, you guys will see. I'm really excited to share with you guys and let's just get started. All right guys, so first and foremost, every single morning I have to have my coffee. Right now I'm obsessed with these little Dunkin' Donut K-Cups. They're my favorite. They just taste really good. And I like my coffee pretty strong, so I just put some dashes of cinnamon and then just some almond milk. If I want a light breakfast, I like this Chocolate Delight cereal by Special K. It's really, really good. It has like chocolate chunks in it, and it's not too bad for you. And then I also like to add some of these semi-sweet chocolate chunks. It just gives it more of a crunch. I know there's already chocolate, but you can never have too much. And then I just use that same almond milk, and that's just kind of like a quick breakfast if I'm on the go or something. If not, usually I'll have like two hard-boiled eggs and just some turkey bacon by Jenny O. This is my favorite. And then I like to fill up this huge Yeti that I have. I think it's like 30 full ounces or something. I try to drink at least six of these a day, and I start off by having one with my breakfast. Uh, with losing weight and trying to lose weight right now, water and drinking a ton of water is really helping me, so that's just like a quick and easy breakfast as well if I'm staying home or working from home. Now for lunch, I tried this recipe off of Pinterest and I actually really, really love it. So we're gonna be making California roll bowls. So it's basically, obviously, like the California sushi, but in a bowl. So I just chopped up all my veggies and everything. It's just cucumber, avocado, and uh, imitation crab meat. So I just had some white rice that I used from the rice cooker. And I just put in the chopped up avocado. I made two because my boyfriend was eating with me this day, so we wanted to try this together. Then I'm also adding in some cucumber chunks. And some imitation crab. You can get this from like any Asian market. I believe you can get it from the regular grocery store too, but that's just where we got it from. And I put like extra crab because it's super yummy. Then I'm just taking this seaweed. Again, you can get this from an Asian market. It's just what they use to roll the sushi or roll in the sushi. And I just kind of like pulled it apart and put that in the bowl as well to make it really like a California roll sushi. And it was really, really good. Then I'm just sprinkling some sesame seeds in the bowls and I also put some soy sauce at the end as well. And I also made my own spicy mayo, which is literally just mayo and sriracha mixed up. I could have probably done this not so messy, but it was so good. I wish I actually put more spicy mayo on there, but again, this was so easy. It literally took me like eight minutes to make. <laughs> Now for dinner this night, I also had a healthy dinner. This was also very quick and easy to make and it was super delicious. So I just chopped up some asparagus and I just used salt, some black pepper, and olive oil. That's what I do every single time with my veggies. It's just super quick and easy and it tastes really good. So for the tuna steaks that we're making tonight, I just got these from Meyer. I did salt, pepper, a little bit of canola oil or vegetable oil, and then put some sesame seeds on there and I cooked them for four minutes on each side. I know this pan does not look that aesthetically pleasing but it's just stained, I swear it's not dirty. I just put some olive oil in the pan and then again, four minutes on each side or actually I think I did two minutes for each side, I'm sorry, four minutes total. That will create the perfect medium rare tuna steak and it is so, so good you guys. Then I just paired that with the asparagus and then I used these little cups from Bob Evans. They're just like a garlic mashed potato. I could have made my own mashed potatoes but the whole point of this is quick and easy. 
So here's the tuna steak. As you can see, the way it's slicing through, it is so soft and yummy. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. I would make this 100% again, so it was so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll talk to you soon.